Okay, yeah. Um, greetings from Guatemala, from city of Flores, which is absolutely amazing. Right, so, what time? I didn't want to talk about Guatemala on this video. I want to talk a bit about Belize. Right, uh, I didn't spend much time in Belize, so I might not be the most qualified person to talk about. It, but still, I was there. I did see some stuff, and yeah. So. Um, I spent in Belize uh, three days, so as I said, really nothing, and uh, yeah. So I went there from uh, from Mexico, and the trip from Mexico cost me 450 pesos. That is from uh, Chetumal, I think. Yeah, Chetumal. Yeah, so it cost me 450 pesos to Belize city, and uh, we didn't stay in Belize city. We went to the island of Cape. Corker and the round uh, ticket with the ferry costs uh, 56 Belize so that's yeah so one one yeah one US dollar is two Belize dollars so yeah do the math yourselves right <laughs> uh, there's another ferry company uh, we were told that it's a bit cheaper but we already had bought tickets so we just went with that so yeah, the island itself, Cape Corker Island, is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's a paradise. It's really a paradise, and the videos I made, they really don't don't show the beauty. I, I just I just don't know how to capture capture the this be beautiful place. And uh, yeah, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, it's very small. There's like a thousand uh, inhabitants on it, plus the tourists, obviously. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful, and uh, I would definitely recommend for people to go there and see it because it's really a tropical uh, paradise sort of feeling you know the one that you would expect uh, uh, yeah well the price is like a uh, hostel we were saying you know cost us like 22 23 Belize uh, so more expensive than Mexico way more expensive and yeah and everything in Belize is expensive actually uh, I didn't film many prices in the shops uh, as yeah I just didn't I didn't feel like but yeah prices are expensive uh, say like small pack of cream Pringles would cost like five dollars uh, pack of lace crisps would cost like seven US dollars I'm talking about US dollars here uh, so yeah like crackers cookie cookies would be like uh, also like five US dollars uh, yeah, so I'm sure that uh, on the mainland, in the Belize city and other cities, uh, prices wouldn't be so expensive because obviously that's an island and they can afford to bump the prices. But yeah, it's it's still it's still expensive. You definitely can feel it uh, in comparison to Mexico, at least. Uh, that's what I'm comparing to. Um, about safety, like the Cape Corker Island is super safe. You just feel like home. It's super safe. No need to worry about nothing. Yeah, there will be people who will offer you like joint or something weed, but yeah, just say no, and they're like, okay, mate, no problems, and they will leave you alone. Like, there's no pressure. There's no pressure at all on tourists. Just so laid back, so so peaceful, so chill, relaxed place. It, it was absolutely amazing. And then there's Belize City. Uh, Belize City is really sketchy. I mean, it's really sketchy. Once you go in Belize City, you have this feeling that, oh, oh, yeah, like, maybe not better walk on the streets. And we were talking with the local guys, uh, Belizeans, and they said, yeah, well, uh, Belize City is very dangerous because lots of drugs and weapons are concentrated there. And uh, it just really, you shouldn't really walk around the streets as it might end bad. Uh, so, yeah, it took the... We took the info and we used it, so we didn't really walk through Belize City. And I really wouldn't recommend to do it to anyone. I mean, like, really, don't do it. You might regret it unless you really need it. Um, yeah, so on our, way, on our way back, we decided that uh, we spent our island two days. So third day was in the city of San Ignacio, which is very close to Guatemala border. And we get there by the local bus. So. 
there's a bus from the very same terminal where the ferry arrives and where they drop you out from Chetumal when you come from uh, Mexico but that's more expensive that's like AC fancy tourist bus so that that's what cost you like 25 US dollars or something uh, but we took the local local version which was absolutely amazing and uh, but to get there you need to take a taxi as I said you might walk it's like not so super far but you you might walk but well on your own risk so basically taxi costed us uh, we were three people and each people were like we paid like two US dollars so well Belize um, which wasn't so bad and yeah and the, the yeah the local bus it's like all this uh, school bus you know American school bus uh, type of bus and it just looks so amazing and even though there's no IC like don't worry about it windows will be opened and it will be a fresh breeze in your face and like you you will you will see locals you drive you're gonna view them in the same ride and they're absolutely fine uh, I really loved about love the ride it's really cool and it it was like two hour drive I think approximately to San Ignacio um, yeah and San Ignacio itself it's well, it's like actually interesting. There's like two cities ne straight next to each other, just divided by a river and the bridge. So yeah, uh, we didn't spend much time in San, San Glacio As next day, we decided to leave to Belize. At the beginning, we thought we might stay one day there. They got in a jungle. There was this offer like uh, for two two hundred Belize for three of us with this private uh, tour guide, basically hike in a jungle. To caves and waterfalls but we thought like ah no nah. Guatemala has loads of jungle so might as well uh, do something similar in Guatemala for less you know so yeah next day we we went to Guatemala and the way how we got there is uh, you can either can take a taxi which will take you directly to border and they usually ask like 25 Belize even though we found one guy who offered like for five Belize each, so 15 Belize, but we said no <laughs> because we want to take a bus. A bus though, it doesn't go directly to the border, it goes to the small village which is like two kilometers away from border and costed us uh, two, two US dollars. No, two Belize, yeah, it costed us two Belize. So, yeah, and it's like 30 minute drive maybe. And from there we just walked. We walked those two kilometers to Belize-Guatemala border. And yeah, we were in Guatemala. So when you leave Belize, you have to pay this uh, 20 US dollar tax taxes for leaving country. We paid that and no issues whatsoever. Very fast pass, like just stamp in a passport, go. And from there we took like a Colectiva shuttle bus which brought us to Flores, uh, that costed us 40 Belize, uh, no, sorry, not Belize, 40 Quetzales. Um, I'm really, I'm still really bad with the uh, Quetzales, and I, I can't remember what's the convert, yeah, what's the rate, so I might put it up in a sort of like text there in the video. And yeah, and now I'm in Flores. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do, like, Tomorrow probably gonna go to Tikal. Yeah, and Guatemalan experience starts. So yeah, Belize is expensive. Don't spend any time in Belize City because you might regret it. Key Cocker Island is absolutely amazing. And yeah, I think that's all really for Belize. Uh, well, see you later.